Huh, I wonder why Gracie got these out today. Yeah. She must have something on her mind. I don't know what. I guess I'll have to go ask her what's on her mind and what she wants to talk about. Oh, <laughs> well, hello there, friend and family. Yep, I see you got past the kitty crew and Gracie too. You made your way into our little old country kitchen. But I always, I'm so glad you came. So if you'd like, I'm going to share a little information with you. Something you may not know. And about 10 months back, I did a little poll. You know, over in the community tab on my channel. You can find it on the channel homepage. Yeah. You just click on the community tab, and there I put several things of interest. Maybe a stock up alert on something I found for a really good price. Or I may be asking you a question and want you to participate, or what have you. But you wouldn't know unless you subscribed and hit that little bell and hit all notifications. So maybe if you haven't done that, you might want to, so you don't miss out. So what did the poll that we took back in, oh, I think it was 10 months ago, well, what was it all about? I asked you what you thought about anchovies. Did you dislike them or did you like them? And a whopping 79% of you said, nope, you don't like them, you don't eat them, and you never will. Only 21% of you said you did like them, enjoyed them, and use them in many things. But you know what? I'll bet for the 79% of you, which you didn't know, you also love anchovies too. So I know what you're saying right now. Oh no, Mr. Tom. I hate those little things. I don't eat them on a thing. Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. Something you may not have known. So let's take a look at anchovies and what you don't know. So here we have a little bitty box which contains a tin of smoked anchovy fillets, wild caught, hand packed from the fine folks at Roland. Yep. And these are used a lot in a diet that used to be extremely popular. More than we went to keto and carnivore. And that was the Mediterranean diet. Y'all remember that? And yeah. It was used quite often in a lot of Mediterranean diet recipes. And we can take a look here at the nutritional facts. Total fat's only 2%, which is 2% saturated fat. It's something you need to know. But one of the benefits of anchovies is they're just jam-packed full of those omega-3 fatty acids. The good stuff. Not the omega-6. They're very good for you in regards to your brain, mental health, and heart and vascular system too. Cholesterol is only 5%. Now granted, as we all know, they're awful salty. 42%. And there's about two servings in this little can. About six anchovy fillets is a serving. There is on no carbs. No fiber, no sugar, and there's five grams of protein in just those little six thin anchovy fillets. So other than the sodium, they're quite good for you. And I'll leave a link to the benefits of anchovies below in the description of this video in case you want to read more and find out just how good they are. But I use them in many things. And that's what we're doing today. I guess Gracie knew we're getting ready to cook. And she wanted what we're cooking today to be jam-packed with flavor. Yes, she did. So she drug these out. But what she didn't know is what I'm about to show you. That we don't normally use these for what we're cooking today. But we use something that I'll bet most of you use in many of your recipes all the time and guess what it contains a goodly portion of these little flavorful oily salty briny fish goodness 
in every drop. You want to know what that is? Maybe you already know. But I think most do not. So to know the secret of something you may use quite often, we got to go up here to the old cooking cabinet. Yeah, this is where I keep all the kinds of things. I use in all kinds of recipes. Yep, there's a lot. Along with all my spices. Yep, I got a lot of them too. Because I like to spice it up. But that's not what we're after. We're after this right here. Yep. Worcestershire sauce. This happens to be the French's brand. My preferred brand. Even though I'm pretty partial to Lee and Perrin's too. Well, let's get her down and talk about it. So what you might not have known is in this Worcestershire sauce, many people have a hard time pronouncing it, and I do at times when I lose my mind. It contains a goodly portion of these right here. Anchovies. Yes, it does. And I'll also leave a link to one of the most famous Worcestershire sauces made, Lee and Perrin's, in the description below the video. So you can see actually how it's made. And no, I'm not just pulling your leg. But if we come around here to the ingredients, you can plainly see distilled vinegar, water, molasses, sugar, salt, spices, citric acid, anchovy. And big and bold, it says fish. Celery seed, natural flavor, contains soy, xanthan gum, pure thickener, garlic powder, and tamarind extract. And that's what you'll even find in Lee and Perrin's. Of course, they don't have the celery seed, and I don't think they use xanthan gum, but they're virtually the same. And once you watch the video, I'll link below in the description of this one you'll see there's a whole lot of these in this favorite sauce and I use this for soups stews roasts oh yeah chilies maybe you do too put in the comments below the video maybe you'll tell me do you use this and what's all the recipes and dishes you use it in too. I just thought this was a little fun fact that maybe, especially my kids and grandkids, didn't know. Because they too aren't big fans of anchovies, so they think. So there you go. Now you're in the know. Let me know in the comments below just what you use it for. So be honest, did you know or did you not? Now, why do we all love Worcestershire sauce and use it in our favorite recipes? It adds a really robust depth of flavor. You don't use a lot, normally a tablespoon or two, but it can really, really add a depth of flavor, earthy, salty, like the sea, and just that hint of fishy taste. It makes things all the more better. There you go. So y'all, Gracie and I, we just thought you needed to know and get your thoughts on what you thought about Worcestershire sauce. Let me know. So until I, Gracie, you know, my apprentice sous chef, without thumbs, because she's a kitty cat, and the kitty crew, see y'all on that next video. Y'all take care, stay safe, and may God bless you all as you bless those in your lives. Goodbye for now. And remember, we love y'all too. Ooh, now I gotta get her to start dragging out everything else. And we gotta get cooking on. Because it's getting late and I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> later all.